Having the freedom to choose isn't the same as having freedom to avoid the consequences of that choice. Some might say that if you're vaccinated because you're required to in order to keep your job, you've been forced to get vaccinated. That's not right, and that's not being truthful at all. That is not correct. If you want to work with vulnerable people, you need to do a police check. If you want to work with kids, you do have to have a working with children check. That is the way it is, and we do that to keep people safe. How about that? We put others before ourselves. You can decide not to choose those checks. No one's forcing you. But if you don't do them, you can't work where you want to work. It's as simple as that. That is the way it is. If you want to work as a cabbie, you need a licence to drive a cab. People without licences are not being discriminated against. If you want to work in aged care, you need to have a flu vaccine. And that rule has been in place before COVID-19 was even a twinkle in a Chinese bat's eye, for goodness sake. That's the way it is. You have a right to choose. You don't have a right to put vulnerable people's lives at risk. You don't have that right. And so you shouldn't have that right. You don't have the right to go into an aged care home unvaccinated and risk starting a COVID outbreak for the elderly. I have constituents with autoimmune conditions who run businesses. If they're forced to serve unvaccinated customers, they'll have to choose between risking their lives or shutting down their businesses. You don't have the right to force them to make that choice either. We have pubs in Hobart that will have to close if a single COVID person walks into them. Those pub owners should be able to choose to protect themselves and their staff. And they should be able to say, I can't afford to have an unvaccinated person in here. They're already on their knees. They should not be forced to pay for another person's choice not to get the vaccine. This is the point. Nobody has the right to make someone's life less safe. That's not what freedoms mean. That's not what freedoms mean at all. You have the freedom to make your own choices. Everyone else has the freedom to respond to your choices. And you don't get to control that no matter how much you might want to. Now, I get that some people have a lot to fear about the vaccine. I understand that for some, putting that needle in your arm is a hard choice to make. It's good to ask questions about how the vaccine was developed, where it comes from, and how we know if it's safe. And I've asked plenty of those questions myself. I put it to the Department of Health, I've put it to the TGA, and I wouldn't have it any other way. That's a democratic process in this country. That we don't have a choice to keep COVID out of our work sites, our aged care homes, our pubs, our cafes, our houses, away from our kids. It says some people should be allowed to make consequence-free decisions, that some people should be able to yell fire in a crowded room and get away with it scot-free. I don't think so. Not on my watch. Here's the thing. Being held accountable for your own actions isn't called discrimination. It's called being, you wouldn't believe it, a goddamn bloody adult. That's right as being an adult. It's putting others before yourself. And that's what this country is supposed to be about. We don't have lockdowns and border restrictions because state premiers love discrimination. That's rubbish. We have them because state premiers don't want to be, don't want people dying, because they don't want to be playing Russian roulette with their own people's lives. That's why they're doing it. That is why they're doing it. <laughs>